Okay. I'm going to show you all about the different modes of ventilation, and I explain it like this. You have two kinds of breaths. The patient gets from the vent a mechanical breath, and they also get a spontaneous breath that they do on their own. With a spontaneous breath, it means they're breathing over the vent, over the set rate of the vent, or if they're on pressure support, then they're just breathing spontaneously, and all of the rate that you see is them spontaneously breathing. But if they're on a mode, then when they're breathing over the vent, it's over that set rate. Okay. Okay. So there's two. There's two ways to give this mechanical breath right here. It's either going to be with a volume that we set or a pressure that we set. Okay. And there's two kinds of patterns that we uh, give the give the volume breath in, and that's either going to be in SIMV mode or in assist control mode. And you might notice on the white vent, the uh, Avita, that it says CMB. It's just the same thing as, as, as assist control. Okay. All right. Pressure, if we give a pressure breath, it's also going to be uh, the same pattern option, SIMB, or assist control. And pre when it's pressure, though, we refer to it as pressure control ventilation, just so that you have that sorted out. You'll hear, you'll hear these terms just used kind of interchangeably, but most of the time they're going to be on assist control when they're in pressure control for delivering a breath with a pressure. And that means we're going to set a pressure in the vent, and when it delivers it over a period of time, depending on their chest compliance, how stiff their lung is from their disease, will determine how much volume we're able to give. When they, when they get that breath, okay, versus the volume, if we give that volume, how com their compliance of their lungs uh, will determine how much pressure it takes to give it. So the peak pressure might start to get really high if they're sick, if they're in ARDS, okay. So um, typically the, the pattern you see with SIMV, I'm talking about these two patterns here, the difference is in SIMV, the patient gets a mechanical breath, and then you'll look at the waveform and they'll take a pressure supported breath or they're breathing over the vent and you'll see a little difference in the waveform if you observe that closely. And basically you'll notice that you know that there's two different waveforms and this would be the pressure support breath and this is the mechanical breath and here like that. Now in assist control when they breathe over the, the rate, every single breath is a mechanical breath. So all of those are mechanical volumes that are given to the patient. And same thing over here for pressure control. The difference is that we're given a, uh, a mechanical breath, but they're able to take a pressure support breath as well, same exact pattern. The only difference is, is this is being produced with a pressure, a set pressure. Over here, we're dealing with a set volume. And this is the less sick patient, typically. Okay, when these PIPs, the peak inspiratory pressure, get to be um, into the 40s and 50s, we're worried about pneumothorax, and we want to try and get that pressure to be lower. And we might have to change the pressure control and set that. If we, if we do this, um, we might lose some volume or lose some average airway pressure, because it's called mean airway pressure over a minute, and we might start to work the IE ratio to compensate for that. The, the inspiratory time is uh, the amount of time inspiring, and that supports oxygenation. On um, expiration, that's the time that we're exhaling and we're trying to get rid of CO2 at that point. So if we increase that eye time, that'd be like, we actually got a longer inspiratory time. It's very odd for the patient, very agitating. We often have to sedate them. Um, and they also will have, they'll get a CO2 increase in their blood. So that's kind of the caveat for that. Um, what's making that thing go off? Someone off the vent. Yeah. Is she in there? Okay. So if they're in pressure control and we've set that pressure, we may very likely go to like a one to one IE ratio or even like a 1.5 to two to one making the inspiratory time longer, and it holds the alveoli open, 
and allows for more gas, more oxygenation to occur. Okay, so you increase your eye time to support oxygenation. Okay. okay. Um, the term we use for the amount of pressure that we're given that patient in pressure control is called drive pressure. It's written on the vent sheet, as you can see. So drive pressure is the term for increasing the volume. If we want to give them more volume, um, we're going to increase the drive pressure on the ventilator. Um, I think that's about it, basically. And then, of course, know that since we are in assist control uh, pressure, all the volume, all the pressures given here are going to be the same, just like over here. So um, you put him in pressure support. He only tolerated that for a little while. Now, pressure support is back over here. Okay, that, that by itself is talking about these little breaths in, mm -hmm. on SIMV or just purely pressure support where all of the breaths are pressure support. Um, it, um, so there's no it, set rate with the pressure support? There's no set rate. It's, it's strictly yeah, spontaneous. Just whatever they do. Yeah, this SP stands for spontaneous breathing. Okay. The don't get pressure support mixed up with pressure control because it's completely... Now, she's you know, on pressure control. She is on pressure control. All right. And um, so know that know that pressure support is what we're weaning the patient down to. We're taking off the rate little by little. Or if the patient um, recovers more quickly, we're able to just put them straight on pressure <laughs> support and um, see if they're ready ready to uh, do that. We tried that yesterday on her, and um, she did not tolerate it. She, did, she, was, she was not ready. Right. And, and um, we, so we just we put her back on, on the pressure control and uh, treated probably with some, some uh, Lasix or something to get the fluid off. We let her for, for the heal up. She had uh, an asthma history. She's on solumedrol. Um, she's getting uh, bedicinide, which is Pomacort, and Q3 um, doing that breathing treatments, all trying to break that bronchoconstriction cycle. Okay. So, anything else about pressure control? Is that I'm trying to make sure I, I explain that um, pretty well. Sound good? Any questions? Does pressure control? She still takes her breaths over. You can breathe over you can the vent. Still breathe over. You can breathe over the vent, but if in the event that we're inverse in the SI ratio, it's pretty agitating it's to the patient, and typically they they get a pretty good amount of sedation. Usually yes, on some Diprovan or a high high dose for a sed and fentanyl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.